Good morning, everyone. Morning. Miss Lyle, Dante, Sitsedi, MMC, Diyakhil, executives of the city of Johannesburg, our service providers, officials of the city, members of the media. Thank you so very much for making the time to grace us with your presence on this morning at this very important uh, project, not just for the city of Johannesburg, but for South Africa. I'm sure all of you remember very well that during my campaign trail, I always said to the people of Johannesburg that without Johannesburg working, South Africa is not going to work. On the 22nd of August, 20. Uh, 16, I was then elected as a mayor representing a multi-party government and I took office on the 23rd. Immediately I'm back on an exercise to really look at uh, the balance sheet that I inherited. Unfortunately, city power was one of those areas where I discovered some serious issues. It was a uh, project or an entity that needed to really be put in an emergency unit of a hospital in a and But then when one looked at the balance sheet at the time, it was one of the best balance sheet on paper. But in real terms, that balance sheet was the most uh, scary balance sheet ever one could ever imagine. Let me just really give you an example of what transpired hardly a few months into office. Because when I took over this administration, seven weeks before, a budget was passed by the government that the people of Johannesburg voted out. But obviously, constitutionally, I had to run with that budget until June of 2017. When doing this exercise, doing an adjustment budget and preparing my budget, for the 17-18, I then sent uh, MMC Diyakhir to have a look at one of the projects which was on my balance sheet. It was uh, El Dorado substation. Substation that started in 2015. The first payment made in July 2015. And the last payment made in December 2016. During my period, in office. 28 different payments made, progress payments, that there was a state substation being built in, in, in El Dorado Park. At the same time, across the street, at Hopefield substation, which uh, experienced a fire in 2015, there was obviously repair maintenance uh, to really happen there to repair uh, this uh, fire situation. Unfortunately, the 88 million rands uh, that was spent uh, for uh, building of the Eldorado substation and the repairs of the Hopefield substation. When MMC Diakhil went there in Eldorado Park, there was no substation, but it was in my balance sheet. So that's where it made me to say, what am I dealing with here? This balance sheet that uh, has been has passed test uh, over many years. You remember very well in 2016, under 200, 200, 300 million rand spent on promoting this world-class African city. So for me, it was really very important to be really close to all the projects that the city was undertaking. I'm sure some of you, particularly some of you in the media, always invite you to events to go and do oversight. Yesterday, thanks to, to Lerato, when you took over, and when he took over, I said to Lerato, I know I'm giving you an impossible task. I said to the chairperson, Lyle, because Lyle used to, oh, every day, the poor lady never used to have a sleep. He says, Mayor, what am I going to do with this? I, I, I need money to be able to deal with this massive challenges. And I said uh, to her, Lyle, please, I know I can see you, I've got the time. But I can tell you, the challenges we're talking to me about, they're much bigger than just the real estate power. But I'm glad the last 18 months of uh, the Rato taking over this entity. Yesterday, we went uh, for the oversight of the uh, Roosevelt Park substation, which will be ready by end of August 
uh, early September. World class equipment, 80% of them manufactured here in South Africa. And I'm glad and really very proud of today to be standing in front of you, opening a 1.2 billion rands infrastructure capacity, electricity capacity for our country. This is not just for Johannesburg, because Johannesburg drives the economy of South Africa. And without a uh, constant electricity supply, we cannot really run the economy. In fact, I agree with the, um, uh, the speaker earlier on, uh, the, uh, the MC, when he said, uh, this is the most important uh, project than uh, the SONA tonight. Here, we're not talking political ideology. Here, we're talking reality of driving economic growth of our country. 1.2 billion rands delivered on time. And the reason why it was delivered on time, because I had to ensure that we keep a close eye on this. You know the level of corruption that we uh, uncovered in the city. City power and uh, the finance department were the two most affected areas. 60% of the 24 billion rands of uh, corruption that we are working on came from, uh, all comes from city power and um, and, and the finance department. But ever since Lerato and his team came over, I can assure you, I'm not saying it does not really happen and they've stopped it completely. But one thing, everyone in city power, the team in our finance department, they know you can try, you can stay. But one thing for sure, if we cash you, we'll ensure that you put you behind bars. As much as uh, we are failing to get the support of our criminal justice system up to today, I'm not giving up because we've got lots of criminal elements who've looted this country, who've looted our city, who are still roaming our streets, who are still in leadership positions uh, in our country with overwhelming evidence of their looting. As is the city of Johannesburg, I'm giving you the commitment for as long as I'm alive, for as long as I'm the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, I am not going to rest. One thing, if, uh, if they think I'm going to really be a, a, a nuisance, I'm happy to be a nuisance. Actually, this morning, to share something with you, what my wife said to me, because I was met uh, with uh, something that around uh, the arrest of, uh, of, of the Bosasa people yesterday. Uh, because, as, uh, honestly, I couldn't really sleep, not understanding, but... Uh, are we now discouraging whistleblowers to, uh, uh, to come forward? If you're a whistleblower, you report a politician, you know you're going to be arrested. So I thought uh, this morning I'll wake up uh, to, to other people in, in arrested. Unfortunately, only the whistleblowers are the ones actually charged. Not even spending a day in, in jail. So this is was like, I mean, Hollywood, it was acting. It's not real. I don't really believe it's serious uh, consequences. But us as the city of Johannesburg, with our limited powers in terms of criminal justice system, will do everything possible that we allow uh, the technicians uh, like Lerato and his management to, to do the work for our country, for our city, so that my children and my grandchildren can inherit a better South Africa than the one that you and I inherited. So Lerato, to, uh, Lyle, and the team from City Power and MMC, I'm extremely proud of the work that you've done, including talking about the savings. I'm sure any one of you can do an exercise if you look at this uh, uh, the new democracy of ours uh, since 1994. It's actually rare to get a government department coming out with savings on projects. It is rare. And uh, here is that young man from Alexander running a big project like this surrounded by equally competent uh, engineers. What they needed was political leadership. And that is what my role is, to, pro to provide the political leadership for them to understand, let us do the right things. Because so colleagues, I've shared this from day one when I moved into office, that I'm not here to make friends. My work does not involve the requiring to make friends. My work is about making sure that we deliver we deliver on the mandate of our, our people. But one thing that I want you to understand is that I have personally value friendship, but my friendship must be based on good values and doing the right things for our country, more especially 
when we're in, we're, in, we're in public office. So thanks so much to everyone who delivered uh, this, because uh, this project is going to minimize electricity disruptions that our residents have been experiencing you know, for the last few years. It's our challenge over. Just in city power to date, we're sitting with uh, 17 billion rands of infrastructure backlog, just on electricity. So for Lerato to make to ensure that uh, the city can all opter, operate at the optimal level, it requires 16, 17 billion rands uh, from us. Are we going to wake up tomorrow with 17 billion rands in our bank? Fortunate enough, we're not dreamers to that level. So we are still going to really experience uh, the challenges, but one thing that I'm saying to you and I'm saying to our residents, please hold us accountable on our budget. We just passed the budget last week. You know how much is allocated to City Power on all the entities. Hold us accountable for that money that's allocated to us to make sure that we deliver on that, uh, on, on that uh, mandate. So I'm excited and really feel privileged to really be part of this historic project in the, in the life of the city of Johannesburg, particularly our new democracy. This gives me hope as a South African that, you know what, it is possible. It's not all lost for our country. It is possible. And all of us as South Africans, I know at the moment, a lot of us are really despondent. A lot of us want to commit suicide. Please, leave the ropes away. Put them aside. Not your chance to, 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 to give up. There is an opportunity for us to rebuild this country and make this country great again. Thank you very much.